Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out the Italian Navy, also known as the Riga Marina. It's not known as the Riga Marina anymore, as the Riga Marina was abolished in the late 20th century. Well, not really abolished, it just kind of ended. And some funny coincidence. So when the Riga Marina update came, the Italian Navy came as well, so yeah. We, the reserve, the original reserve ship of the Riga Marina update was the MAS 555, which we have in front of here. So this was the original reserve. It was horrible, although it did have torpedoes and depth charges. It only had one gun, which meant you could only shoot over here at a maximum. You couldn't shoot in the front. Then with the update raining fire, which just happened about like a month ago, this is the new reserve, the MAS-561. This one has is actually quite better because look at this, three guns instead of one. So today, today we will be looking at both of them. Yeah, so, yeah, pretty good, I honestly must say. I haven't tried out the MAS-561, because see right there, um, I can't really show you with the mouse, but it has a gold stripe on the top left, which means it's a brand new vehicle. And like I said before, it came with the update raining fire. And then, the original reserve boat couldn't be a reserve anymore because for boats, you only have a maximum of one reserve. So that became a 1.0 boat. And it has a max through training cost of 200, which I got for free because I have that when it was part of the Riga Marina update. So yeah, much better. Much more firepower, did you hear that? And yeah, you have two small caliber machine guns and one high caliber machine gun. This is going at a steady speed of 105 kilometers per hour. Pretty fast for a boat. And my other videos you saw like um, British Navy, I don't know if I did that. But like um, Britain, America, Germany, Japan. Britain, America, and Germany, the reserve boats only go 80 kilometers per hour. So, relatively slow. Not the slowest, but relatively. And now we just capture this one point right here. Pull back. And sphere to the side, which gives it a little more. Resistance. Shift is sniping mode and But you see, we can now shoot at other targets. And let's get out of here, because we just captured Zone A. Actually no, we're gonna stay here and hold down the fort with my other team members. Now we gotta shoot all those boats right there. I'm going. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Oh gosh, I did not see that huge rock right there. Oh, so close. And the blimp. We went bye bye. Alright. So that was the new reserve boat for Italy. Now the MAS Triple Five. This one, about the same speed. Are searching for but much less firepower. It's way worse. And if you did notice, War Thunder is glitching a little bit. And you can kind of see like the skeleton of the boat. Because, and see, look. See what has that grayish circle up the top? That's the gun angle, but I can't shoot there because that's not where the circle is. 
put in my circle off high enough. has very low amounts of ammunition. So this is definitely not a boat you would want. But if you want any better boats, then you have to research this one. Now we just gotta cruise our way around this and into the bullets. Now all we have to do is make a right hand. Hair and shoot the boats down and make them go. And as you see in the top right, there's a little square that shows damage done to the ship that you're shooting at. And now I gotta do buoyancy and enemy kill assist. Okay, it's relatively good, so yeah. Now, the thing with this boat, the thing that's the worst about it, you have to be parallel to your target in order to make a shot from your guns. See, look, we can't shoot in front of us because that's not possible, because of where our gun is unconveniently placed. I'm in the B zone. And... Well, that ship's gone. Which means now we have to go back to the new reserve boat. And, yeah. So, I always go without loaders. Because... The reserve boats are usually torpedo boats. But torpedoes are really hard to use and really annoying. They're not really your weapon of choice. Oh wow, I just invaded an aircraft right there. Yeah. Okay, it looks like... Uh, looks like the enemy team has captured zone A. Ooh, torpedo. Ooh! Nice! Did you see that Tokyo Drift I did right there? And yeah. But did you see that drift I did? Right in between the torpedoes. And now, I get to show you this one really cool glitch. In War Thunder. That you might only see in this video. If you raise an altitude. I've only ever seen it on British aircraft because I usually play with the British Navy. I'm not sure if it works for any other aircraft, but if you keep going up, you're eventually going to go through a layer of grass, and it doesn't like damage your aircraft at all, which is really nice. I'm not sure if it's still here, it may not be. But you're going to see something that looks like birds in the sky, but it's not a flock of birds. Come on, is it anywhere near here? I'm not 100% sure. But it's a really cool glitch. Um, I might show you if I ever do a video on the British Navy. But if you keep going up and up and up. Yeah, I only think it's for the British Navy. So now, dive down, and we can just shoot at torpedo boats. Torpedo boats, very bad armor, easy to penetrate. Front machine guns. Now you have to raise an altitude so you don't crash into the water. I've done that on many occasions, it's not fun at all. 
And you also have to watch out for a ship anti-aircraft weapons. Or just torpedo boat machine guns. Now you can zoom in and go skrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr